Joining us, the Calumet County Sheriff says the disappearance of Teresa Halbach remains a mystery tonight. The 25-year-old who lives near Hilbert was last seen Monday afternoon near Michicot in Manitowoc County. Jeff Alexander has the latest in the investigation. Police say Teresa Halbach's cell phone and credit cards have not been used since Monday. After meeting with family and friends this morning, they're convinced something is wrong. With the information that uh, we've obtained from friends and family, uh, this is definitely a missing person case of uh, suspicious origin. Halbach is a professional photographer who works at Pierce Photography in Green Bay. One of her clients is Auto Trader, and police say she was in Manitowoc County Monday afternoon at three different private homes taking pictures of cars. The sheriff says he's not ruling out anyone as a suspect, but the three homeowners all report Halbach taking pictures of their cars, collecting the money, and driving off. Ironically, Halbach's last stop Monday was at Stephen Avery's home. He spent 18 years in prison for a sexual assault crime he did not commit. The sheriff says the Michicot area remains a focal point of the investigation. Uh, this is the last place she is seen alive and uh, seen by somebody. And of course we're going to be uh, concerned, uh, interested in that area. Jeff Alexander, Action 2 News, Green Bay. Investigators say the last known person to see Teresa Halbach alive Monday was Stephen Avery. You may recall Avery spent 18 years in prison for a sexual assault crime he did not commit. Jeff Alexander has more on this ironic twist. Stephen Avery walked out of prison a free man in September 2003. DNA testing proved he never should have been there in the first place. Now, two years later, he again finds himself tied to a police investigation. I couldn't believe it. You know, once I seen a squad car, you know, up by my mom and my dad, that's the first time I heard about it. it was, I didn't like that news. You know, somebody missing, that's not good. Avery says Teresa Halbach was at his house for about five minutes Monday afternoon. She took a picture of this van Avery is trying to sell through Auto Trader, then drove off. It's easy. Take a picture, collect the money, and say hi, and that's about it. Avery, who helps run his parents' salvage yard, says Halbach has taken a number of pictures of his cars over the past year. He describes her as a nice woman, nice to talk with. He's praying she's found soon and safe, and he can't believe he's involved in another police investigation. Jeff Alexander, Action 2 News, Manitowoc County. Good afternoon, I'm Kevin Rompa. You are looking at pictures that have just come into our newsroom of the search that is going on right now for 25-year-old Teresa Halbach. The Calumet County woman disappeared a week ago today. About 50 volunteers are out right now helping authorities try to find her near Michicot. Winnebago County dive teams are searching nearby ponds for her. You can see searchers looking through vehicles as well at the Avery Salvage Yard. That's where Hellbach's vehicle was found on Saturday. The owner of Avery Salvage Yard is Stephen Avery, the man who served 18 years in prison for rape until DNA evidence cleared his name. We talked to Avery, who is still with his family in Crivets this noon. Well, they took my car. They took the flatbed. They impounded it. I don't know when we're, how we're going to get home or when we can get it back. Police say Avery was the last person to see Halbach when she was on his property to take pictures of a vehicle he was selling. Authorities say Avery is no more or less a suspect than anyone else. We're expecting to learn more about how the investigation is going after a press conference this afternoon, and we will have the latest developments from that press conference tonight on Action 2 News at 5 and 6. And since the Halbach search began, Stephen Avery has maintained his innocence, but he's starting to think investigators aren't even listening to him. I, no, I don't think none of them believe me, or none of my family. No, they're just focusing on, on us, on Avery's. Hear more from Avery's interview with our Sarah Thompson coming up tonight on Action 2 News at 6. Tonight, the Avery's say they feel like they've become the focus of this investigation and feel like police are calling them liars. Stephen Avery told our Sarah Thompson he now feels like his whole family's a target. We're victims. We're all victims. The entire Avery family is holed up in their Marinette County cabin right now, being told after three days they still cannot go home. Yet they say investigators won't tell them what's going on. Still in square one. Don't know nothing. What Stephen Avery does know? Anything could happen. 
He once again feels like a suspect and fears at any moment police could arrest him. It all comes back at all memories and everything else in there to schedule me out again. And deep down it hurts. Avery says he's been straightforward with police, but doesn't think they believe him. He might say they're calling us all liars. The reason? Avery still has a lawsuit pending against Manitowoc County for an 18-year imprisonment on a crime he did not commit. It's all the Averys, Manitowoc County and the Averys. Yesterday, police served Avery with this search warrant, listing items like the clothes Teresa Halbach was last seen wearing. Then they impounded his car and his brother's truck. And today, things are pretty quiet, unlike this weekend, when Avery says investigators lined up their squad cars down this driveway and around the corner to the main road, making it pretty hard for him to get around them and get out, even though he says investigators told him he still could. I couldn't go nowhere. It seemed like I was trapped again. You know, my whole family, not just me. Avery says all he can do now is wait and hope that this investigation is almost over. Sarah Thompson, Action 2 News, Marinette County. Stephen Avery is still at the center of this investigation. He is the Manitowoc County man who spent 18 years in prison for a rape he did not commit. Avery is the last person known to have seen Halbach. She was on his property last Monday working as a freelance photographer, taking pictures of his vehicle for Auto Trader magazine. Her SUV was found Saturday on Avery's property. He maintains he's done nothing wrong and has no idea how it got there. Right now, Avery and his family are at their cabin in Marinette County. He says investigators aren't letting him go home. He says he feels like his whole family is a target. We're victims. We're all victims. You know, I just wish she would come back out and go back home to her ma, her family and all of that. I ain't going to find nothing anyway. There, there ain't nothing. You know, even on the property, there ain't nothing. I don't know how her vehicle got there. No, that wasn't supposed to be there either. Avery says he believes Manitowoc County is out to get him and his family. He's currently has a lawsuit pending against the county for his false imprisonment. And the Calumet County DA is now the special prosecutor leading the case. Right now, Avery is not ruled a suspect. Good evening. Stephen Avery, the man expected to be charged for the murder of Teresa Halbach, continues to claim he is innocent. Action 2 News reporter Emily Matesic sat down with Avery for a jailhouse interview this morning. She joins us now with more. Emily. Well, Jeff, from the very beginning, Stephen Avery has been willing to talk to members of the media, and each time he said that he had no involvement in the disappearance and subsequent death of Teresa Halbach. After learning from watching TV yesterday that he'll be charged with Teresa Hallbach's murder, Stephen Avery again agreed to talk to us. His story has not changed. He still believes he's being set up. So did you kill Teresa Hallbach? No, not at all. Despite the evidence, including his blood and Teresa Hallbach's SUV found hidden on his family's salvage yard property, as well as his DNA on the key to Hallbach's car, Stephen Avery says he's being framed. Planning evidence. How else could it be there? You know, if I didn't do nothing. It don't make no sense. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz, who's been leading this investigation from the beginning and who has watched as evidence was collected and sent to the state crime lab, says that's not possible. The kind of evidence, the quality uh, and the um, significance of the evidence that's been found uh, makes it quite clear uh, that there hasn't been any taint, hasn't been any planting, that's been going on. Avery was quick to defend the large cut on his finger that's been at the center of attention for the past day. He claims it happened while loading a piece of steel into a car. During our interview today, small cuts could be seen on Avery's arms, but again, he said work was to blame. No more for torches, you know, when I cut off his exhaust and then the flashbacks, you know, they always get me. Avery told us his connection to this crime is nothing but a conspiracy against him and his family. The lawsuit. You know, to serve, I suppose they can afford 36 million. Then they don't like the Averys anyway. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz says that is not true. I'm convinced that it is not possible that the evidence that's been obtained is tainted evidence or was in any way planted by a Manitowoc County law enforcement agency or any law enforcement agency for that matter. 
Now, Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz says he plans to file first-degree intentional homicide charges against Avery early next week before Avery is in court for those weapons charges. Good evening. A day after he found out he would be charged in the death of Teresa Halbach, Stephen Avery says he's being framed. Action 2 News reporter Emily Matesik sat down with Avery for a jailhouse interview and has his side of the story. Stephen Avery, who's being housed at the Calumet County Jail on weapons charges, said he learned he would be charged with Teresa Halbach's death while watching TV yesterday. From the very beginning of the investigation, Avery said he had nothing to do with Halbach's murder, and tonight he continues to claim his innocence. He did not all. kill Teresa Halbach? Not at all. He didn't assault her in any way? No. I wouldn't do nothing like that. One day after finding out charges will be filed against him for Teresa Halbach's murder, Stephen Avery says he's being set up. He planted evidence. How else could it be there? No, I didn't do nothing. It don't make no sense. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz says that's not the case. The kind of evidence, the quality uh, and the um, significance of the evidence that's been found uh, makes it quite clear uh, that there hasn't been any taint, hasn't been any planting that's been going on. Avery says the prosecution's evidence, including his blood found in Teresa Hallbach's SUV, as well as his DNA on Hallbach's car key hidden in his bedroom, are all part of a conspiracy. Avery thinks the $36 million lawsuit he filed against Manitowoc County for his wrongful imprisonment is why he's being targeted in this investigation. I'm innocent. Well, I won't do nothing to harm nobody. That's, I can't figure that out. They hate me that much to frame me for a life bit. That ain't me. Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz thinks that couldn't be further from the truth. Kratz, who's been in charge of the investigation from the beginning, says there was no opportunity for anyone to plant or taint evidence. The vehicle, Ms. Halbach's vehicle, when found on the Avery residence, was um, basically left intact. The interior portion of Ms. Halbach's vehicle was not available, not accessible to law enforcement officials. That vehicle wasn't searched until it got to Madison. Avery was quick to defend the large cut on his finger that has been at the center of attention for the past day. He claims it happened while loading a piece of steel into a car. During our interview today, small cuts could be seen on Avery's arms, but again, he said work was to blame. No more for torches, you know, when I cut off his exhaust and then the flashbacks, you know, they always get me. Prosecutors say those cuts along with the DNA evidence are going to help them prove their case against Avery. They plan to file first-degree intentional homicide charges against him early next week. In the newsroom, Emily Matesic, Action 2 News.